Yo, what's up guys? Joker bringing you another video. This is actually going to be on season 28 of Diablo 3, which goes live on February 24th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So the patch for these changes is actually going live on the 21st, so which is this upcoming Tuesday, right? If you wanted to go ahead and test it, I, I played through on the PTR, so I've already tested it. And honestly, like I was saying in my previous videos, it's it's pretty fun and I'm really looking forward to season 28, especially right now in this PoE downtime. I really don't have much else to do or play. Um, so when I saw this and I tested it on the PTR and I'm like, oh, wow, this is actually pretty fun. Uh, I figured I'd make kind of an announcement video saying, hey, I'm definitely going to play this. Maybe put up a few videos about it just because, I mean, it is a really good time, right? Even if it's not a super long time that I usually play Diablo, I usually always enjoy it as long as the season theme uh, is really fun. And this season is actually really entertaining. Uh, pretty much to dumb it down to a bare minimum, and I may be incorrect, but it's kind of a glorified scavenger hunt which sounds boring but um you go ahead and on this altar you're going to sacrifice different types of items and materials and that's why i was saying scavenger hunt and once you turn them in it's going to allow allow you to unlock these perks now the reason why i was having so much fun is these first couple of turn-ins that you're going to be doing are going to take maybe an hour maybe two hours of actually playing to get some of these materials right which means that you're going to be able to be rocking one two three four five power-ups super early into the season and some of these are just that strong that it's going to pretty much get rid of that annoying early season grind fest trying to get your first character to level 70 is this allows us to not only get to level 70 way faster, increase our Paragon way faster, and get to that fun, more min-maxing phase that most people play Diablo 3 for anyways faster. What I mean is, look at some of these. Your kill streak, timer duration, and reward bonus are doubled. This is the first point. So you're automatically as soon as you turn in 10 i think it's called like refined salvage or something um uh, let me get the exact name i'm sorry i don't play that much d3 i've already said that uh reusable parts right which comes from literally you just breaking apart items so you're gonna have this just uh, automatically right so once you start you're pretty much gonna have double kill streak duration and reward bonus and kill streaks always gave you super juicy exp next thing pulls a reflection lasts the entire season this is super cool because it's just a static more exp multiplier and then the thing that i grabbed second was right here so it cost me almost nothing it took me having a flawless diamond which once again something you're going to have super early on. And I'll throw it up on the screen, the comparison for the uh, Kanaya's Cube, what you would normally have to do for it. But this is going to mean items have no level requirement anymore. This means that you no longer have to de-level uh, in, in one specific item to try to give another character a level 70 weapon. This means as soon as you hit this, you're able to go and craft a full set of level 70 gear and just start blasting through those higher rifts based on just that. You're going to be getting death's breaths faster. You're going to be getting keys faster. You're going to be getting legendary is faster because you're going to be able to go uh, up in um, difficulty faster. So plus a lot of these are based on power and quality of life. So things like movement speed, extra damage, picking up all your death's breath, salvaging all the items automatically for you. Where is it? Yeah, salvaging items automatically for you. Since a lot of them are based on just that quality of life, that's why I was having so much fun because it was pretty much just constantly blasting. I was always in a rift or a greater rift and it was just so much fun to be able to blast that fast.
plus the fact that the sets are so strong like they're giving a lot of sets a huge damage increase as well as changing a lot of them around um and actually completely working natalia's uh but everything looks so fun and you get so much extra damage it's what i feel like they i wish they would have done in a season of uh league for poe where they just don't mind messing with zeros right F increasing six thousand to fourteen thousand like a, a league like this in poe in my opinion would actually be really fun where they just give a bunch of static buffs and then a bunch of quality of life if they made a league like this in poe it, it would be a lot of fun in my opinion but essentially last thing that i wanted to cover is they now have it where you can craft your own primal ancient granted you can only wear one of them but you can make it like your weapon right and have a primal ancient weapon once again just for that huge power because in case you don't know primal ancients are perfectly rolled legendary items um but yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a relatively short kind of rant, kind of just excited video on this of, I think this season of Diablo 3 is going to be really fun. If this is any indication of what Diablo 4 is going to be going forward, I am going to temper my expectations, but I'm really hyped for Diablo 4 if like this is the type of thing where there's just so much quality of life, the the um, season mechanics fun, like you just get to do the fun part of the game. If that's what Diablo 4 is going towards, then PoE definitely is going to have to step it up. And I think that's another reason I'm so excited is this seems like it's pushing in the right direction for the ARPGs that I enjoy to actually get better. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future videos. And until next time, take care.